collection from Diamond Billiards, Sacramento, California. Looks like we got Shelby. She is a skill level three. And we've got Nikki with a skill level two. So Shelby needs three games. Nikki needs two games. And it looks like Shelby won the leg. This is a seven foot diamond. Love these tables. All right, looks like they're all racked up and ready to smack. Going for the second ball break. Very nice. Looks like there's a pretty good spread. Shelly is solids. Four. Ooh. Hung it in the pocket. Now that's her pocket. I see Shelby play a lot. She can sure make some balls. I don't really have much experience with Nikki. I haven't seen her play too much. She may be new to the Sacramento Area League. Stop shot, maybe? Yep. So two, four, six. Try to break out the seven, maybe. If she can get shape on the six. Ooh, almost. Love that play. Get that seven ball out where it's makeable. Leave her in kind of a cluster. Not easy when you gotta shoot over balls, as we all know. Let's see what she can do. The way she's holding the cue looks a little awkward to me. She needs to bring that back hand a little further back on the cue, I think. And that's a scratch ball in hand. a little bit more top spin on that to go forward off the side rail the long rail to get the shape for the seven in the side Ooh, nice hit Accidental safety there. 
pretty mean one at that. It's tough to hit that seven from here. Looks like I'm coming in for a timeout. I was just telling her to just get that eight somewhere. Instead of trying to hit the seven, which is almost impossible, I was just telling her to get that eight out in the open so that it's makeable. Because right now it only has one pocket and it's kind of hard to get shape on it. So put it down there near near the corner. It'll be accessible from most places on the table. So an intentional foul. Executed nicely. Ball in hand to Nikki. Love the tie-dyed hood uh, sweatshirt. There we go. Nice shot. That little cluster next to the side pocket looks kind of iffy. I don't know if either of them really go. slice yeah I mean that was that was a tough that's a tough cut especially to try to miss that scratch I would I'm always using either outside or inside to miss the scratch on that outside it's just depending on where the object ball is okay Looks like Shelby can just kind of roll this in and get shape on the natural shape on the eight. Lining it up. Great speed. Nice shape on the eight. Throwing up the duck marker. And bang. First game in the books. Absolutely love this pool hall. Has a uh, let's see, I want to say nine seven foot diamond tables, which is what the APA uses at the World Championships and the Players Championships, um, starting I think last year. Um, they they are just so much better than the the Valley Bar Box. Uh, the shelf is a little deeper that makes it a little bit more difficult but um, I think that's a good thing I also really like the way the ball reacts off the rails you can manipulate your bank shots pretty well on these diamond tables. All right, Shelby broke dry. It's an open table. Oh. Good effort there on that bank shot. Looks 
looks like maybe Shelby's going for the combo. Oh, actually, I think she was trying to go straight in. I think it had room. Maybe about half a pocket. Table's still open. I don't, I probably, this four ball is hard to make right, right where it is. That's one of the hardest spots for a ball to be on the table, in my opinion. All right, still open. I believe Shelby's going to be going for that six ball. Perfect. Wow. Got a nice little breakout on that three. Well, a little hard there. Still got shape on the one. Perfect. Nice. Great shape on the three. Um, let's see what she does. I'm just rolling forward. She's probably just trying to get an eye on that seven ball so she can break it out. All right, well, she got the eight ball out. Still gonna, still got some work to do with that little cluster. Let's see what Nikki's got planned. Huh? She doesn't really have very, really having any easy shots. If I were her, oh. Here comes Mark Thomas for a timeout. Uh, I would probably roll up on that uh, that stripe closest to her and uh, play safe. I'm a big fan of safeties. I think he's lining up, lining her up for a bank shot though, in this bottom right corner. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, I think so. I think that's what they were trying. Well, this is tough. I might think about doing an intentional foul right here, just right into the stripe, knock both of those solids out of there. Perfect. Yep. Big fan of the intentional fouls. There's a lot of different situations that you can use those. Nice shot. Mm. Kind of looks like those two stripes right there is kind of wired for a combo on the side. You hit it straight on, yeah, like that. I don't know, we'll see. Oh, very close. It's probably what I would have tried to. But I don't know, it's kind of hard to say when you're not at the table. All right, this is not an easy shot. That's a pretty good spot to leave your opponent though on the rail. Kind of limits their ability to put any sort of English on the cue ball, and it's just harder to make balls from the rail. Ooh, that was a good effort. Oh, don't do it. Oh, no scratch there. Ball in hand to Shelby. 
Let's see. Definitely uh, get that four ball out of there. I think it just needed to scoot forward just a little bit more to, to see that seven very close. I'm not sure if she can see it or not. Oh, oh man, direct hit. What a good shot. Kind of left Nikki in a funky little spot, too. Yeah, there's not, I mean, there's nothing really too easy here. Looks like she might be looking for a bridge. My least favorite pool accessory. I would rather... I don't know. I have an extension, so I don't really need a bridge too often, but I would say maybe 90% of the time I miss the shot or jump the cue ball off the table with the bridge. So definitely need some practice with that or, or not, or just use the extension, you know. kind of tough shot I think she might be able to cut it though that's not easy but she hits it soft enough it's kind of going right towards the those two stripes by the eight ball and one of them might stop the cue ball to leave shape on the eight gotta hit this with good speed though oh yeah oh perfect oh, yeah very close Perfect speed, just the ball didn't make the ball. Good shape on the eight. All right, let's see. Just ease this one in there. Oh, a little hard. And it's almost a very similar shot the last one that Shelby needs to execute. That same speed, I would almost put a little bit of right English on this, try to spin it over there towards the eight. Oh god, perfect, wow. Yeah, very nice. Oh yeah, slow down. Oh yeah, I hit the rail. Oh, good shot. <laughs> Looks like Mark uh, is wondering if the game is over. And Shelby needs one more. So one more they will play. Or, you know, possibly two more games. If Nikki can win this one. up and ready to smack 
Looking for that second ball again. Trying to snap that eight in. Good break. Came up dry. Doesn't look like there's a very easy return shot for Nikki. But we shall see. Looks like maybe either that strike by the cue ball into the one. Maybe she can see the two. And maybe go rail first to try to make the one. Those are the options I'm seeing. Not sure where she is. Might be getting a refill on a beverage. And she's back. Uh, if she can't see the two, then maybe the combo. Hanging at the four, maybe the four passes. All right. My money would be on that Shelby takes solids here, but I could be completely wrong. Solids don't look bad. Hmm. Oh, I didn't think she could see that. Stripes are pretty decent too. Oh wow, good shot. I didn't think that went past the one. This is a tough shot. Trying to. Oh, a bank shot. Nice. Ooh. Good effort on that one. I think he's got some weird angles here. Nothing real, real easy. Combo. Uh, whew. That one almost went. All right, trying to cut that ten ball in the corner. Ooh. Good try. Oh, oh my lord. Wow. Corner hooked. That's what I'm talking about. These shelves are so deep. Look, you can only see half of the ball from here. If that was a valley table, that would have scratched for sure.
some difficult uh, positions on most of these balls. Yep. I like that. Just start chipping away at them. Get them out in the open. Nice shot. A little bit unlucky on that lead there. It looks like she's kind of snookered. Definitely going to be having to kick at something, I believe. I wish you can see the edge of that five ball. Got another timeout. comboing that stripe into the other one to try to open open both of the stripes up at the same time. That was pretty good though. Alright, three in the side. Oh little readjustment. It's never good to do when you're down on the ball. If you're ever feeling like you're aimed wrong, just stand up and Re-aim. Nice shot. Like maybe gotta go for the cut in the top left corner with the six. Or maybe the seven or the one. See what she chooses. Going for the seven. Here's a good opportunity to make some balls. Alright. Time for a bank shot. You're going? Oh, no. Ended up in a nice spot. Well, this one looks close. This could end in a foul. I'm not sure. Well, 
I think she got it. I think she hit it clean. Hard to say. Alright. Yeah, I like going for this here. And she can see it. It is kind of a weird in a weird spot. Oh great shot. Wow. That was fantastic. Now just uh either roll forward off a rail or stop it. Mm, perfect. It's a, kind of a backwards cut, but definitely makeable. A little quick on that one. She normally takes a little bit more time lining up her shot. Maybe why she missed that one. But it happens. Sometimes when you are so confident with making a shot, a little bit of overconfidence can uh, make you miss it. Gotta respect every shot. There are no easy shots. All right. Oh, this is a makeable. Not easy to get the speed right. She gets shape on the eight. Oh, good shot. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Wow. Love getting shaped like that on the eight ball for your, for the win. Just nice, easy, straight in. No, nothing difficult. And that's a wrap. Good shooting, Shelby. That is a rackless. Alrighty. Well, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.